fair, um, fair guess that there's two pretty desperate clubs playing one another in the weekend. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure on both clubs, so we expect Richmond to come out breathing fire. There's a lot on the line, and we're going to do the same. Put a little bit of good footy together on the weekend. We're going to go out there and try and play uh, four quarters of it this week. What are some of the main issues that you've tried to address during the week as you've reviewed? Yeah, um, as a team, we've just been letting ourselves down and contest a ball um, and easy turnovers by hand and foot. So uh, that's what we're going to be working on. We've had a focus on that for the last couple of weeks, so we start to see uh, the improvement of that hopefully this week. Is it really obvious in the review when you go back and look at like, the Geelong game and you guys were fantastic in the first quarter, obviously, and then can you, can you see in the review the coaches bring out these areas contested where you drop off like straight away? Yeah, um, we can see it on the review and also the st statistics pointed out. So our midfielders and um, the rest of the group are aware of that. And like I said, they're working hard in there right now and it'll be the same at training. We hope that uh, things we do at training often take a couple of weeks to pay off. So this week or next week it's going to start happening. Is it just a matter of consistency there? Yeah, it is a matter of consistency. And the thing about uh, AFL is that you've got to be at the highest level the whole time. If you're a few percent off, you can uh, really get burnt. So it's going to be able to um, maintain that composure and that intensity for the whole time. There's been such, such an amount of external noise, I guess. Is that infiltrated into the, into the playing ranks? I mean, it's so unlike what Adelaide to have all this sort of, as I say, external noise happening. Yeah, it, it is. There's been a lot of lot of noise, and that comes from expectation. That comes from disappointment from our supporters and the wider football community, and that's what happens. So um, we're just we're just taking that on the chin. But internally, we're uh, staying very tight. We've got a great group of blokes. We uh, all know where we want to be, and we know that what we haven't dished up so far is not good enough. So uh, we're working together. Is it, sorry, does it surprise you? I mean, Yeah, I think that's been covered enough in the last few days. But um, to be to be honest, it's pretty farcical, and internally we're we're joking about it like it's that ridiculous. But like I said, um, when there's pressure on and we let people down, um, things like that can get out of control, and that's what's happened. Is it frustrating to see that sort of off-field stuff. You know, it's not just the back page with you guys performing performing poorly on the field, but it's the front page. It's well. not so much frustrating as a little bit disappointing that people would resort to. Um, that sort of stuff when things aren't going our way. Um, we go out there and we have a crack every single week. Things aren't quite working for us, but we're working very hard to turn it around. And we just want them to know they are there. Yeah, um, to some extent, when things are going against you, it's really good. When you back it to the wall, where everyone just comes together and Port Adelaide have got a strong tradition of doing that, so it is a good opportunity for us to use that um, to our advantage. How's um Chad yeah, Chad's good. He obviously um, got a bit of a knock in the game, and we wanted to make sure he was checked out and no worries. But he'll get uh, he'll get looked at closer to the game to see if he's clear to play. But there's no rush there. Obviously, concussions are um, a significant issue in the AFL. Has he been around the club to look like, or does he want to play? Does it... Yeah, I haven't I haven't had a good chat to Chad, so I'm not sure. He's a he's a very uh, hungry young man and. You see by the way he plays, you obviously want to be out there, and if he's out there, you want to be able to give 100%. So um, I'm sure if he's fit, he'll be putting his hand up. Have you talked much about uh, Richmond? I mean, their good is pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, they're, they're good as elite, as we saw last year, and they, uh, they were very similar in the way that they uh, had a slow start to the year but really got rolling um, towards the end. So, like I said, they'll come out fired up. They've got a lot of quality players in their team, and um, we're going to have a look at them today. Uh, we usually focus on the opposition uh, at main training session, but at the same time, we know our good is also very good, mm. and we're going to be working to bring that out. Who's if, most likely to take Jack? Uh, or do you have a team job on him? Well, we talk about team defence a lot these days, and that will definitely come into it. If the mids are winning the footy, that'll make our job on Jack a lot easier, but uh, we've got a few boys down the back that'll probably rotate through him and take take turns because he uh, he has a big engine and he's a good footballer. Mm. What about... Um, Tommy Cleary, I think he returned in the Magpies a week or two ago. Obviously, been out for a while, but it would he be a chance to come back in and play that sort of tall defender up? Yeah, uh, probably not this week. He'll take a little while to find his feet. He's had a fair layoff, but Tommy's got great potential and he's played some really solid SNFL and also AFL footy, so give him a few strong games in the Magpies and he'll, de he'll definitely come into contention. Match that intensity early and then 
Yeah, yeah we don't just have to match the intensity early. We've got to match it for four quarters, you know. We matched it for one quarter last week. We worked out that wasn't enough, so this week it's going to be four quarters. But they've got a very strong on-ball on ball brigade and um, they got a lot of threats going forward as well. So footy, there's not... Footy's a whole team game, and as you see that these days, you sort of got to have every party game on song. But if our mids can get it going our way, that'll go a long way. How's um, how's Kenny been this week? Has he come out breathing fire? Does it sort of lose its steam after disappointing four weeks? Or um, like I've touched on, Kenny tried to focus on the positives, which was our first 40 minutes against Geelong. There was a lot of good stuff to take out of that. Now it's just about being able to do that for longer. Obviously, we went went back and reviewed the areas that weren't so good, which I talked about were contested ball and some of our turnovers. But for the most part, we're keeping it upbeat because there was some uh, good footy and we're not far away from turning it around and putting our uh, best on display. So he's not walking around g everybody up this week or anything like that? Now, nah, Kenny keeps it uh, pretty positive and fun around here. You don't want to make it um, a down, you know, mournful place when you go to work. You want to have have fun, and that's the best way to get improvement. So, yeah, he's out there and having a bit of a laugh and joke with the boys, but at the same time, we're working hard.